Yeah, you know, it's hard. Obviously, it's not anything any player wants to hear, but um, you just have to take it the right way and, and stay mentally strong and, and trust that it's a part of the process. What did you learn? I mean, what did, what did they emphasize that you needed to work on when you were in ETR? Uh, just the D zone. Um, stop fishing the puck out of my net, basically, was the biggest thing. Um, you know, in order to play, you have to be good defensively, um, and then that you know, generates the offense. So I'm just working on the D zone and, and you know, hopefully take those things I learned into camp this year. So is that reading plays better or making better decisions with a puck? Like what kind of, in pragmatic terms, what, what does that mean? Yeah, reading plays, um, yeah. sensing danger, you know, just knowing when to when to pull out and, you know, when to jump in. So, um, you know, it's kind of a balance and, and in order to play at the highest level, you have to have that. Dennis, when you look at your plus minus B minus 20, do you, I mean, it's a weird stat. Some people love it. Some people don't even think it's really what the game is all about. I understand that. Do you look at it and say, most of the time, I'm just trying to make a play. I mean, I think I'm trying to make a good, aggressive hockey play, and it just doesn't work out. So do you really get down on yourself when you see that number? Or, you, or do you say, hey, you know, I mean, I'm still just going to keep trying to make plays? Yeah, you have to keep trying to make plays. And, you know, you wouldn't be able to play, and you, you wouldn't love the game if you didn't try to make plays. Um, but obviously it's a stat that's, you know, come on recently, and, and it's big thing especially for a young defenseman like me so um, it's just being able to defend well and then you know translate that into offense and that'll you know make the plus minus a better what better is it watching film then I mean what do they say to you say okay okay Dennis geez I mean I know what you were trying to do but you can't do it or I mean is it more something that you really have to learn yourself by playing and watching film yeah it's a little bit watching film um, I say it helps you know just to watch yourself and you know what you were thinking in that certain situation. Um, yeah, when you see yourself, when you see yourself do it, and you know they can comment on it and say, you know, what were you thinking here? Or maybe you should have done this or done that. And, um, you have to continue to play aggressive, and, but you know, there's sometimes where you have to err on the defensive side and, and you know, be conservative. Have you met with Steve yet? And if so, what was that conversation like? Yeah, I met with him. Um, we had a good talk. Um, he, he, he's basically on the same page where. Just have to get better in the D zone and just you know, get that plus minus stat um, to a better to a better point. What do you what's, think? Your, what's your mindset heading into camp? I mean, there's still like so many bodies in camp, and there's going to be a lot of competition. I mean, what do you think you have to do to make that you know opening night roster? Um, it's really just being more responsible, just having the coaches trust to be able to put me on the ice and you know know that I'm not going to get scored on and. You know, that I can box guys out, that I can kill plays in the D zone. So if I can come in and do that and then, you know, let my offensive tie take over, you know, I think I'll be okay. What do you what do you attribute to the early season success that you did have when, when you were playing well? Um, just wasn't really thinking about anything, just kind of being me and just playing. Um, wasn't really anything on my mind. I wasn't worried about anything. And, um, yeah, I think if I can just get back to that mindset and, and, you know, when I get out there, really focus on, you know, being harder to play against in the D zone and, and making sure I kill those plays and, and you know battle in front of the net and box guys out, then yeah, I think it'll be all good. Is it cool to, to step on this ice as a Red Wing and have all these kids look at you as, as a guy they all admire? Absolutely. Yeah, this should be fun. It's, a, it's always a great time to you know see the kids and, and you know, spend some time with them and have fun, and, um, especially for me. you know I've always liked doing that. And, yeah, today should be a fun day. Did you ever go to a camp growing up, Pavel Burry or anybody like that that you tried to admire or skate after? Um, Pavel Burry, Cliff Ronning was a big one. Um, uh, he coached me for a lot of years actually growing up, so yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, getting to hear all his stories and you know, even in his, in his 40s and 50s, he was still by far the best player on the ice, uh, you know, against all of us. So um, yeah, it was it was cool to be able to look up to guys like that for sure. Did you go to any of those Canucks ones that they had? I mean, like any of those types of camps or something like uh, that? Not that I remember. Um, the Canucks always used to have a, you know, I, we do too here, you know, they have a kid skate out um, and stand on the blue line yeah, for the national yeah. anthem. I always wanted to do that, but I guess my parents never signed me up for it, so I never got to do that. <laughs> Huge disappointment. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> did, did every kid growing up want to be like Beret in your area? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, he was he was the man, you know, um, and we were all super devastated when we lost in 94. I mean, I wasn't born yet, but I heard all the stories, so um, even I'm disappointed and I wasn't even there, but um, um, yeah, no, he was the man, and then, and then for me, it was, the biggest one was Cliff Ronning. Yeah. Yeah.
And it's how much better do you think of a handle will you have on exhibition season? I mean, that's when the auditions for jobs really come on the line this time around. Yeah, um, you have to play well. You know, you have to be ready to go. And um, exhibition is where you, you get to show your stuff and, and, you know, showcase what you have. And, um, you know, last year was good. And hopefully you can just carry that same thing into this year. It's looking back a little bit, but remember, was the playoffs still kind of a disappointment for you guys or what? Yeah, it was, for sure. We had a good team, lots of good players, lots of skilled guys. Um, Chicago was a good team, too, and I thought it was a good series, but fortunately we got the short end of the stick. A group of guys you guys talk at all, Nick Cronwell, any, any signs of him coming back? Has he, has he done it all? Have you, have you heard? I haven't heard anything. Um, I mean, I, yeah, I haven't talked to him for a while, ever since I left, actually. So, yeah, I, I don't have any news on that.